Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Zay for The Naked Gaming. Today I'm going to tell you a little few tips to get started in Legends of Aria. Okay, so say you start in one area and you want to go to another area and you notice the map is completely blacked out in the other areas. You, you, can't, you can't see anything, right? Just You can just click on where you started and you can't see anything else so what you're going to have to do is you go to the other towns right now i'm in eldar village and you have to find a general store okay so you go on the map and you see this little barrel right and you're going to go over here and you'll see map of upper plains for this area now this will be 200 gold for each area so i'm going to go ahead and purchase this all right and yes, I want to use it, of course. Now, when we open a map, we can see this area. And it's really hard to play if you can't see the area. You know, and then you're trying to meet up with somebody or whatnot and tell them, hey, I'm here. And they don't have that map of the area. Which, what you'll want to do once you start getting some coin is go and you start exploring other areas. You're going to have to go to a general store right away. Now, Eldor, or Upper Plains, I guess, yeah, Upper Plains area, is one of the better areas to start out because they have lots of bandits. And if you're, if you're starting a melee character, it's a definite must. If you come over here in this area, you're going to fight... A lot of bandits now what's good about bandits are they drop armor and they drop weapons so when you're getting started you're gonna go through a lot of armor and weapons and if you're fighting stuff that's replenishing that armor and weapons which you're, you're getting broken you never have to buy that means you can save your coin up for say buying a land a piece of land as quickly as possible before everybody else kind of fills up the area that you might want to put down a house in <clears throat> now as you're killing stuff you're gonna want to let me make this a little bigger you want to skin them all right if it's uh, an animal and get the heights sell the heights to the tailors for about 50 copper each as you're going around also you're going to see cotton plants you want to pick up the cotton because again you can sell it to the tailors the fluffy cotton you can sell for about 500 gold per fluffy cotton that's the tier 2 fabrication material for like cloth for caster items now they need that to make the tier 2 items in which they're going to need for crafting orders. It's rare. So if you pick those up, you're going to make you're going to make money. You just have to collect enough to sell about 10 for 500 gold. Right? 5 Is that right? 5 uh, yeah, 5 did I say five gold each? <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> Sorry. Five hundred gold each, actually, for fluffy cotton. You sell ten for five thousand gold, not five hundred gold. Uh five hundred gold per fluffy cotton. That's why you're gonna sell fifty gold per hide and about uh, you, I don't know, cotton is so easy to get, you know. If you get a hundred like uh Let's let's go over here. I think they're selling the cloth. Yeah. Okay. See, the the bolt of cloth is out of stock. They're they're buying it up pretty fast. One one cotton equals five bolts of cloth. I think it's three copper per bolt of cloth. Seventeen silver for ninety nine. So if you do the math on that, <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. It would be five gold. Three gold per bolt of cloth, and you get five per yeah. So you could sell it for about three, 
Three gold each, easy. Five gold each. Four. Yeah, five gold each. That would that would be more than fair. Actually, maybe even make it ten gold each on the cock. That way you get uh, get ten, sell it for a hundred gold. Get a hundred, sell it for a thousand gold. So that's some quick, easy money without having to take another skill. Hides. Cock. The skill also that is really easy to make a little extra coin off of, you know, here and there, is lock picking. If you're going to be a straight melee character like I built here with uh, bashing, blocking, healing, martial prowess, and vigor, okay, the lack, the, I had one skill slot left. You can either do something like fabrication or you can do lock picking. Lock picking is important when you're going into dungeons. There's tons of chests in the dungeons. Then you can pick the locks and get free gold, free items. And you get rare items that you can then sell on your vendors. So that should really help you out. Also, you can do treasure map. Like if you have a friend with treasure maps, they they can do treasure hunting, and you can be the lockpick, you know, and you can do them together. Later on, treasure hunting gets pretty hard to solo. You get liches and whatnot popping out, and then you're going to run into uh, you know a little bit of struggle. Though they did increase the time for chests to stay out in the open. For 30 minutes now instead of like before it was only three minutes and then yeah like when you're kind of in the lower range and you get three liches to pop out on you three minutes usually was not enough time to get rid of the liches usually by running away or kill them you know it, it's just not not an easy task to do when you're just starting out so yeah there, there's my tips, man. You get to buy a map. You just go to the general store when you go to a new area to make some extra coin. Go after skinning and picking up cotton. And then, if you're really going straight melee, find bandits. Find an area that spawns bandits. Upper Plains is an easy area for that. There are other bandits in other locations, but. A plane has a bandit camp, and like then there's the little mini camps that you can find that has treasure chests that you can get even a little extra money from. You're also going to want to buy food, food helps you regen. So, yeah, also remember to pick up these seeds when you. When you're harvesting, pick up the seeds. They they could sell. Like you get certain seeds, people want to buy or use them, not buy them. They want to grow the plants and use the plants to uh, use for decoration purposes. You know, strawberries and uh, green peppers are good for like making it look like Christmas lights and such. So it's it's kind of a valuable thing as well. You want to. Um, just harvest everything you can pick it up you have a limit on your your bank but pretty much if you're carrying leathers and cotton you're you're not going to have to worry about that you just keep it stacked all right guys well that's enough for now and hope to run into you in game possibly if you guys enjoyed the video or learned something Please hit the like, and if you want to hear more, feel free to subscribe. Alright guys, peace out.